All right, we're doing a little bit of cleanup work here on the uh, differential. I, I went ahead and loosely reinstalled the cover. I just hand tightened the bolts uh, while I sprayed degreaser on the uh, differential. The more I think about it, the more I think that uh, this differential was leaking out of every orifice it had. I believe these side cover seals were leaking because there was basically greasy dirt all around here, right? This whole thing was just caked with greasy dirt. I don't think it was the diesel fuel leak. I think this thing was leaking. Uh, and I think uh, it was also leaking from the cover as well. That being said, uh, I've got this pretty clean. Um, right now, I'm going to replace this original seal with the new one and then reinstall the axle shaft that I just rebuilt. We got it painted. I think it's looking pretty good here. You can see the crimp job there. Uh, you know, it, it turned out all right. It's not bad. You know, it's got a nice coat of paint on it now. The uh, differential side cover seal was writing right there. It's it's not worn out or anything. It's just a mark. All right, well, enough of that. Um, I'm going to get this thing cleaned up a little bit more and get this rebuilt axle back in the car. All right, so my seal removal tool uh, is not big enough to remove this differential side cover uh, seal. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove some of the rubber, expose the soft metal of the of the seal here, the sheet metal. And I'll probably uh, get a cold chisel or a screwdriver or something and and with a hammer and tap it down in there and pry it out like that. We're going to see how that works out. All right, that didn't work. Next tactic. All right, we've got a little hole drilled in the side of the, uh, the metal part of the seal. I'm going to see if I can get my uh, seal removal tool embedded in there and uh, see if I can't pry that thing out. All right, I wasn't going to try to film this, but I think maybe I might be able to do something here. Let's see. Let's see how well this is going to work. Get it slipped up. I'm prying against the edge of the Oh, okay, so there we go. We just broke the uh, the metal of the seal. So we'll probably have to go around this thing a little bit at a time to get it out of there. All right, we've made some progress. Uh, I've made two holes, one here and one here, to weaken this section so that I could get a, a, a screwdriver and hammer it under there a little bit. So I had to weaken this section. Otherwise, I was just banging on a solid wall there. And uh, anyway, so I'm able to, you can see where I got the screwdriver down. So I should be able to get the screwdriver down in there now and, and uh, pry that thing out of there. Looks like we're making some movement here. I'm finally able to get something in here and pry that thing. Look at there, boy. Look at that. Look at that. Man, we are good. Let me tell you what. All right. I want to leave my rag in there. I don't want to. You can see some of the fluid starting to drip out, so. There we go. All right, so this is what it looks like without the differential side cover in place. Uh, looks like you've got a, a big snap ring in there, and you can see a, uh, a pilot, I guess that's a, uh, a pilot bearing, and it says made in FRA France. Okay, well, there you go. This different pieces of this differential, I guess that's the bearing. This bearing was made in France. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Yeah, I need to put my rag back in there and uh, clean this up really well before I put the, uh, the new seal in. We are all cleaned up and ready to put this new seal in and then get the rebuilt axle back in place. All right, a little break in the action here. I do not have a seal installation tool for this rather large differential side cover, so I broke out the handy hand router if you don't have one your sh have one in your shop you might want to consider it they come in handy for all sorts of things i uh turned this seal upside down on a piece of wood and took a pencil and drew an outline circle of this piece of rubber here that piece of rubber that sticks up uh, because the downward pressure on this seal needs to be on the outside that's where the wall is and that's where you need to pound or that's where the pressure needs to go and the seal will uh rest in this recess like this, when we get ready to put it on the car, we will uh, we'll pound on it with a hammer and drive it in there. That's the plan. Stay tuned. All right, we're about ready to install our new differential side cover seal. 
I'm going to put a little bit of Rhinz oil around the exterior of this seal. I know that generally oil seals don't call for this, but just a smear to help seal up the edge of this thing won't hurt one bit. Just a smear. I think that will do us just fine. I'm going to leave my... Well, I'll take that back. All right, let's take that napkin out of there. It looks pretty square. Let's get our special installation tool. Get our installation tool in place. Let's switch hands. Let's do that. I think that might be better. All right, just a few tappy tap taps. And let's check on our progress. We're a little off kilter. That figures. All right, we're almost there. All right, the top part still needs to go in a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty nice there. What I'm trying to do is get the edge of the seal flush with the machine surface of the uh, differential. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we've done it. That seal is nice and flush with the outside of the differential. And we got a little bit of squeeze out from the Rhinz oil that we put on the exterior. All right, everybody, there you go. There is a brand new differential side cover seal installed in a W126 differential. So what we're gonna do right now is go ahead and put a little bit of differential oil around the uh, rubber part of this just to lube it up just a little bit before we insert the new axle shaft. Now one last step, uh, right before we install the rebuilt axle, I've got some 2000 grit wet dry paper and a little bit of WD-40 cleaned up the, uh, the end of the shaft here. We're going to go ahead right now and uh, put just a little bit of differential oil on there. Spread that around a little bit so that when we put this thing through that new seal, Everything will uh, slip right into place there. So let's get ready to put this thing in the car. All right, let's see if we can get this thing in here. There we go. Just have to man up on it. All right, we got the uh, differential side in place. Now all we got to do is get the outboard side in place. And that one is gonna be a little tricky. And I think we're gonna need a pry bar. That's how we got it out before. Just don't wanna mess up my paint job. I think we're almost there. Just need a little persuasion. All right, we got it in the splines. There we go, and then we'll use the bolt to tighten it down. That was a big job, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get our bolt. All right, let's tighten up this end of the uh, axle. All right, that doesn't have to be real tight. Just snug and that'll be just fine. I'll look up the torque settings later on for that. That's probably not a lot. Maybe 20 foot pounds, maybe 10, I'm not sure. All right, I've got one last piece for the driver's side rear axle. We have to reinstall our retainer clip inside the differential. So I've got it on the end of this pair of uh, needle nose vice grips here. Let's see how they'll, see how well this works. I'm probably going to block your view. All right, let's make sure that's in there correctly. See if we should be able to just move it around in the groove there. We're all done, people. 
Well, all right, everyone, there you have it. One Mercedes W126 rear drive axle removed, rebuilt, rebooted, painted, reinstalled, along with the side cover differential seal. I think I'll leave the rear brakes and the sway bar end links for a separate video. But that's all for now, everyone. I wanted to say that I really appreciate you stopping by my channel. And as always, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. We'll talk to you later.